Folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Have you ever been learning something, a new tune, and thought to yourself, this is so hard, how am I ever going to be able to do this? Good question. <laughs> a simple way to work on very hard things on any instrument, but especially fiddle, is to separate your hands. So, I mean, keep them attached to your arms and everything. But what we're gonna do is separate out what each hand is doing. So we take some passage that's difficult and figure out just what the bow is doing. Then we figure out just what the left hand is doing, practice just that, and then we slowly put the two together. So now that you know a little bit about this powerful practice of separating your hands, let's get into it and learn how to do it. Let's use swallowtail jig as an example. So the first phrase of this, that's the first quarter. It's a challenging string crossing and fingering thing for different reasons. Um, and so the basic thing we're gonna practice is this. Okay, and that's, that's the thing we're gonna start with that I'm, I'm identifying with scare quotes as the hard part. And so what we can do is strip away all whatever the left hand does, all the fingering, place the left hand in beginner position and just figure out what the motion of the bow is. So if we analyze it, we just are bowing that, it's all three bows on D, followed by open A and two more Ds. That means if you can master this one motion with just the bow, this phrase is gonna be incredibly easier for you. So you would start slow. slowly be able to do it faster. So why don't you take a moment right now and practice just that. Even if you know this tune already, take a moment and practice and go through these steps so you can kind of really get a feeling for how to separate your hands and what a powerful practice it can be. Cool, thanks for doing that. Now the next step Step two out of three in this process is to just focus on the left hand fingering. So now what I want you to do is if you've been holding your bow, set it in your lap or on a table. And what we're gonna do is before we even make any sound, I want you to silently finger and imagine here in your head, also known as audiation, that melody. Hmm. Do, 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 do. But all the while fingering it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, and so one thing you can practice besides just the motion of the fingers is getting a light touch here because since you don't have to worry even about how it sounds, any other problems, see if you can just move your fingers with very minimal movement, minimal energy, re relaxed hand, and see also while you're at it if you cannot lift your fingers very high. So all these things that I just mentioned would be much more difficult to practice if you were playing the whole tune, all right? Or even just that one part. But now that we're fully focused just on that fe feeling then of playing then with the fingers, it'd be a lot easier. Another th really cool thing I want you to get from this and a lot of the other lessons I do is just the joy of a simple practice. And this, you can really just enjoy the feeling of movement, just touching the strings perfectly, feeling that, okay? So, um, not to get all touchy-feely on you, but let's get all touchy-feely. Seriously, it, it actually, you can really enjoy the sound of music, but also the feeling of making it with your body. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pluck that part. So, in theory, this is doing both hands, right? But because plucking tends to be easier for people, um, then we, it tends to be easier, it really means you're more focused on the left hand. So let's take a moment and pluck the beginning to swallowtail jig. So 
now we're just going to do that a few times. Let's just see how the left hand is feeling, okay? Can you do can you make the left hand absolutely relaxed? Let's loop on it together. Four, five, six. Awesome, thanks for doing that. And now the third step, we put it together, okay? So I'm gonna now pick up the bow and I've done my practice. You may wanna go back to the first step a little bit. All right, and then we put it together very slowly with one single repetition. Take a breath, pause, how'd that go? Try it again. And then if you can do one single repetition, see if you can loop it. Now, maybe you've gone through this process very carefully and it's still very hard for you, all right? And you're frustrated that this hasn't helped yet. So um, you can just do the process again. And maybe this time, see if you can find out what's really hard. Um, for a lot of people with this phrase, sometimes going from D1 to A1 and figuring that out. I'm not gonna do uh, really a technical lesson on this in particular, but um, that could be hard. So what you could do is you could do all the steps with this little piece. So first you would practice open D to A. Then you'd practice fingering D1 to A1. You may wanna experiment with whether you keep the first across both strings or move it, all right? Whatever you end up practicing, maybe both things you practice, then you would do it with plucking. Plucking is just a way to kind of, kind of relax, get into this motion. And then we try it with the bow. And keep doing it until you feel comfortable with it. And then integrate that back into the whole thing. And maybe now you'll get it, but you may not. This is practice. This is what practice is. It does not happen right away. You have to practice this 1,000 times. Repeat a thousand times, a thousand times. No joke, practice it a thousand times. If you do that, you're on your way to becoming a master at this instrument, the fiddle, or really any instrument, if you have that mindset of practicing that way. So, I'll close this lesson by saying that even if you play a tune and you find it's, you don't think you have any problems with it, this form of practice is very powerful and may open you up to other ways of approaching the tune. And so it's kind of a cool thing to do even if you don't think you're struggling. Anyway, hey, I hope that was useful and fun and let me know how it's going, what you want more of, and thanks for watching. See ya. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.